Okay, I was making sure my settings were all right. Hey, Corrine, Tiffany, Mary, hey, y'all. Okay, sorry, I'm drinking my coffee, and I know it's later in the day. But, um, I'm going to do, like, these looks in, like, 30 minutes. That's my goal, okay? So, actually, I'm going to put my, my stopwatch on. Let's see if I can do this. Give me some hearts or um, something if you're watching. Um, let's see. And go ahead and put a one if you're watching live and a two if you're watching the replay. Um, and it's okay if you watch the replay. If you have any questions, let me know. All right, so first things first, I'm going to work on the eyes. Let me get my picture. Okay. Ow. Hit my drawer. Okay. So, I'm going to go in with, first, I need to use our primer. This is our um, eyeshadow primer, okay? Right here in this little jar, okay? And I use... Um, I think technically this is like a concealer brush. I'm not sure of the exact name. Um, but I just brush a little bit on here. And then, and I have my handy little mirror below here. Let me, I don't know if that's in the picture for y'all or not. Is it? Or is that just a reflection? Okay. So, I go ahead and put my eye primer all over and what this does is it helps any um, eyeshadows but especially your powder eyeshadows to stay in place and if you are anywhere near the age of 40 and above then you really want to get some of this eye primer because it makes a world of difference um, with your eyeshadows, okay? It actually is kind of like a base color for me anyways. You know what I was going to do? I was going to try and do like that whole um, tape method thing, but I don't really have anything. I don't have any tape. I thought about doing that tape method right here. Um, sorry. Um, I thought about doing the tape method here. I've never done it before, but that may have to be for another time. Okay, so eye primer is done, and some people actually use it for under their eyes, but I used my foundation. Oh, oh my god, a piece of fuzz there. Okay. So, eye primer is done. And then, I'm going to go in. This is our Trio um, eyeshadow kit. And, I don't like the mirror. I mean, I like the mirrors. They, but they drive me crazy with reflecting. Okay. So, here's the colors. This is the Vintage Season 05. Okay. So, it's kind of a pinky red and then um, a brownish color and then like a, a little bit dark, darker highlight than in the 3-in-1 face palette. But they all have a bit of a shimmer to them, okay? So, what I'm actually going to do is to cre help create some of this darker color here. Um... I don't know if I'm going to do the brown first, because I'm also going to use this orange pop. So, let me do... Alright, I'm going to go in with the orange pop first. I changed my mind. This is orange pop. This is one of our creamy eyeshadows. And then I'll go in with the, um, the brown. Okay. Let's see if I can get my hair out of the way so y'all can see. <clears throat> And I'm not going to um, put the pigment, I mean, put the orange over here because that's where I want to put 
my pigment. And I have hooded eyes. So you see how if I don't bring it up more, you can't really see the color unless I like raise my eyebrows or do like this. So if you have hooded eyes, and I don't always use a blending brush. I use kind of one of these, um, I don't even know what you call them. I don't know all the names of brushes. Um, I just know it's something for eyeshadow. It's kind of the shorter, stiffer, because then I have a little more control and I can bring it up higher. And because my eyes are not as big, my eyelids and stuff, I think I'm going to put some of that brownish color from the Vintage Season on top of this. Because that might be more of a red there, but I don't have a red in our pharmacy. So. My son has been sick all week. Um, he is watching TV right now. He woke up from a nap. I was going to do this during his nap, but then I didn't want to do it during his nap. In case he woke up and didn't feel good. So, that would mess things up. Okay. Oh, my bangs are in the way. Sorry, y'all. I'm still getting used to having bangs. Okay. So, I went higher up on that. Hey, Beth. All right. So let's see. What do y'all think? And then we're going to, I'm going to do some of that brown color from the vintage season. And with this brush, I have more control. I can, since I'm not using the tape method, I can kind of just go straight up from here and keep it a little more precise. Ronan is still sick. And then I woke up all kinds of stuffy today. I think I want to... My hair is driving me crazy. So I'm going to throw this into a... A quick bone. Even though it looks horrible. But it's driving me crazy. Okay. And I went ahead and obviously I went ahead and did like all my foundation and stuff like that ahead of time. That way I could just focus on the eyes, the lips, and the nails. Because I'm going to show y'all how to use pigment for your nails. Okay. So we got the orange pop going. I'll use that, um highlighter in the vintage season too. Okay. I have to go a little higher since I got hooded eyes. Another tip with hooded eyes is when you go to do eyeliner, if you're not doing your eyeshadow high up like that, but you still want to be able to see your eyeshadow some, be sure you do very thin eyeliner. You're, you want to do a thin line. Okay. So, we got the primer done. We got our orange pop. And now, this is where I go in with more of a, like a little blending brush. With the, um, with this brown it doesn't take much. I think I might even have too much on this brush. What did I use? Okay, so we're going back with the Vintage Season Trio. And I'm going to use um, oh, that middle brown color. Okay. Just to kind of help darken this up. You see how it darkens it up a little bit? I don't want to take away all the orange, but... I 
my cupboard. Okay. So what do y'all think? I didn't go too dark with it. I don't like to do stuff super dark. I'm only going to do it darker right there. Is my mouth open while I'm doing this? <laughs> okay. Not bad. All right. Now we're going to go in with the pigments. Okay. So here's our pigment. This is the one in pineapple. Okay. And what I'm going to do, and since I'm going to be putting this um, on my lips and on my nails, I have one of these little containers here. You can get these at Walmart <laughs> for really cheap. They come in like a bag like this. Um, they're for like condiments and stuff. Um, I used to make sugar scrubs for lips and stuff, and that's what I would put stuff in. So, and it has like a little lid, so if I want to save some for later, I can. So, I'm going to take a little bit of this, and I'm just going to shake it into here. Since I'm going to be using this um, for three areas. Now, while we're here, let's see. Um, I'm trying to decide, so you guys let me know um, if I should do all my nails in that color or just do, like, say, these two on each hand. I haven't painted my other nails, but I do have, like, two other colors here. Um, these are not pharmacy, but they are, um, I got them from Ipsy. But I like them both. The green, I think, tends to dry a little bit faster. Okay. So, and again, I like to have kind of a precise brush. Um, it's an angled... It's like a mix of a brush. Okay. So you don't have to put a whole lot. Like I, I probably put too much in here. But you can see. Oh. Okay. And here we go. I'm just going to barely tap. You see how it like already. I don't know if y'all can see it as good as me, but. Let's see. Okay. It is a really, really popping. What you think? And then I'm just gently blending it um, into the other colors. Let's see. So you can still see that. I wanted to make sure I went high enough with it. Let's see. Okay. So it's very yellow. But I love it. It's so pigmented, y'all. This is such strong pigment. I love it. Okay. I might go in with that brown. 
a little bit. Let's see. Okay. If you're watching live, go ahead and give me a one. If you're watching the replay, you can give me a two. Alright, let's see what y'all think. My husband just got home. Alright. So then... Alright, so I need to finish off with some eyeliner. And I actually thought about... Um... You know what I thought about doing is using my um eye my eyebrow mascara as my eyeliner. I don't know, let's see. This is the eyebrow mascara color and then that's um an I that's the other I have an eyebrow pencil and it's that color. So maybe I'll try the eyebrow pencil. I don't know. I was trying to do something a little bit different. All right, let's try this out and see. Still need to highlight. I almost forgot about that. Or should I stick with going with a black eyeliner? I might go with the black eyeliner. It's, this is just not dark enough. All right, so if I'm going to do a black eyeliner... What do I do with that? Ah, okay. Here we are. Here's the ink. Alright, let's see. Need to get a small brush. Small brush. All right, so I'm taking the highlighter color and putting that across the top here. I don't have um, as much real estate up there as some people. So, work with what I got. And one thing to be sure of, to make sure you don't blend your colors too much, um, is make sure your brushes are clean. I did that today. I cleaned all of my brushes. Now, my... my other palette, my face palette, the three in one, it has a little bit of a lighter. So if you look at it, um, let me put this here. If you compare these two colors, so in the three in one palette, this highlighter color is a lot whiter or lighter than the one that's in the vintage season. So if you want something a little bit brighter, then you can go with the one that's in the 3-in-1 palette. You see, so that one went a little bit brighter there. But it works for a good, like a, a good fade, I guess, too. Okay, so I'm going to do some eyeliner. I'm not doing a wing or anything. Just getting this on. Oops. And I'm trying to keep it a little thin so it's not like, um, super thick of a line 
but I am this is our um the dip liner no is it a dip liner or eyeliner it's the thin one but I'm not always that good with these kind of brushes um so I'm really excited that I have the felt tip eyeliner coming that is coming to me. Okay. The felt tip. Um, and I also have some waterproof ones coming. Oh, look, my hubby is on. He must be checking up on me. Okay. So, I am not going to um do the wing thing today keeping it simple sort of i hope y'all can see what i'm doing you may have to swipe the comments away in order to see because i gotta bend down to look at my mirror And I can't talk while I do this. Because then I really can't get it done right. <laughs> but I love... I loved this look. I like the contrast of the colors. It reminds me of fall, but then I could also wear this in the spring. Um... So, I cannot wait for my felt tip liner to come because this kind of liner is not for me. I don't know. I have a cousin and she's the one that cuts my hair. And she's really good at wing looks. Hey, Jennifer. My cousin's really good at wing looks. Um, but I'm not doing that today. I'm keeping it super simple. That one looks kind of crooked. <laughs> Look, I cannot talk while I do this. I just bumped, and now I had to make it a little bit thicker. Okay. So, in just a minute, I'm going to let that dry for a second. And in just a minute, it actually takes no time to dry. I'm going to put on mascara. I have the 3D, what is it? The 3D effect. And then I also have Extreme Curl False Lash Effect Mascara. So, go ahead and let me know um, which ones y'all think I should use. This is the Extreme Curl. It's a False Lash Effect. Um... And then there's 3D Effect, which is this one. I like them both. They're both black. Um, what did I do with my... Where did I put it, y'all? There it is. Okay. Use tape. I Well, I was going to, and I meant to, but I was dealing with the kids... And I don't have no tape next to me, so. <laughs> it didn't happen. Okay. I'm touching up my eyebrows because my eyeshadow got on them. I love, love, love this eyebrow mascara. I still, I do like... I like to have sharp lines and I have thick eyebrows so I'll just pull it out sometimes after I brush through them um, and use my brush okay 
So use the extreme curl. Okay. And you know what else I like about this eyeliner is other eyeliners that I have used, when the, like the liquid ones, if they got, if the eyeliner got on my lashes, it would like really make my lashes stick together. And I don't like that. And then I felt like I had to rip my lashes out. All right, so look at this. It has the curved wand, and a lot of people do that. Um, let's see. I'm trying to keep them bending down too far into the video. Oh, I meant to tell you, there's another trick. Um, but I want to do this when I get my waterproof eyeliner. If you have hooded eyes... And, like, if they're really, really hooded, you can put your eyeliner tight, which means on the inside instead of on the outside. It will also make your eyelashes look fuller. All right, I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll put more on there. I changed the angle of my mirror. So maybe that will help y'all and keep me from being down into inside the comments. I bumped my nose. Okay. So there's that one. And I'll usually put more on my top lashes than I do on my bottom. Because that's what most people want to see, right? And if you have small eyes, you don't necessarily want eyeliner on your bottom. Although I still do it because sometimes I like it. And then sometimes I don't do it. It just depends on my mood. And I don't put very much. So I already say that I don't put very much on the Okay. All right. So I like that. All right. Now the lips. I need to show y'all how to do that really fast. I'm going to wipe my lips with one of our Scentsy wipes. I love these. And for $5, you get 20 of them. And they can be used for like... Oh, they're for a makeup remover, which is what I like because I can't use oily stuff. I had some um, gloss on earlier, so. Um, I want to clean all that off. And then, alright, dry my lips off. And I want to use, um, I'm going to put just a touch of our foundation. Not much, like, that's even too much. All right. On my lips, because it's supposed to help it stay. I used to do this all the time. Back in the day. All right, so I'm going to put on, oh, not that color. I'm going to do the Wild Rose. Um, this is our lip color. Okay, this is Wild Rose. And it goes on in one thin layer. So I am, like, wiping off the tip. Okay, it does not take much. Um, 
And then I line my lips. That is what I do. Okay. Now, I have to be careful because my top lip isn't as big as my bottom lip. <laughs> Sometimes these lip colors, they stay on, I mean, they take a little bit longer than regular lipsticks to put on, but the plus is that they stay on longer. And I am picky. About making sure my lips are lined right. <laughs> And here I am talking while I'm supposed to be putting on lipstick. That does not work out well. Okay. So now what I want to do is, so this is the Wild Rose. What I'm going to do is take, while this middle part is still, I'm going to make sure it's good and wet. Just put a touch more on there. And I'm going to take my brush here with some of the color. I don't need much. And then I'm going to dab. Because while it's still wet, I don't want it to Ooh, I may have hit too much. <laughs> so this lip color is long lasting. Once it dries. I'm gonna look at my picture. I don't have the uh, voluptuous lips that they have. That that girl has. <laughs> I wish I did. All right. Okay. What do you think? It's my first time doing that, so I might need some more practice, but you get the idea. All right, so now what I'm going to do with the nails is I still have some of my pigment in my little container here, and I'm literally just going to let some of it drip in there enough to put on a couple nails, okay? So I'm going to actually put it on... Um, And then what I also do is I go ahead and use, I'm using some clear polish and I am mixing it up and I'm going to use this brush and what I'll do is when I'm done mixing it with the pigment, I just clean it with some fingernail polish remover. So what I'm literally doing is just mixing it up. 
So let me mix that and so y'all can kind of see. Okay, I don't want to turn it upside down. So I mixed it enough and then it goes on so smooth. I don't know that I want to do all my nails like this, but um, I mean, look. Okay, so I'm going to paint. Y'all get to see my messy um, table here for a second, maybe. I don't know what y'all can see. All right, let's see. Can you see my hands? All right. Obviously, you don't want it to dry. Just like, it's, I mean, it's nail polish, so you don't want it to sit there for too long. Alright, so that's just one coat. Isn't that so pretty? I think I'm going to do these two. I don't want to do all my fingers. But, I mean, it took no time to do that. And then, when I'm done, I just clean this brush out with, um... Some fingernail polish remover. The other option is you can actually just dump some of the pigment into your container of clear polish. But look at that. It's so pretty. And it will last as long as your nail polish, you know, if you have some fancy smancy nail polish that stays um, for like a really long time. My polish usually, um, three to five days, which is fine because I like to change it up. I don't want to have the same colors, same color on my nails for a month. All right. Do y'all see that? Isn't that pretty? This is hard doing this left handed. But I had to have the same ones. Okay. Then... I have a little container of the fingernail polish remover that I've already used. Alright. There we go. Okay. Alright, so then I have my container here that I've already used. And this will dry. It's already drying pretty good. So now I got all this color. Okay. So who would do some of, of this pigment on their nails? Oh, see, I can't move around when I do nails. And this is why I don't do my nails very often. Because I can't sit still. They always bump into each other. Okay. So then I just take this little wand here and clean it out. And another one of those little cups to have fingernail polish remover in. So, I'll let it sit to make sure it gets it all out. And then, we're done. And I'll probably paint the rest of my nails maybe like this green color or something. I don't know. I don't know what else I got in my, um, my nail bin. So, what do you think? All right, so I'm going to let you guys go because I went way longer than what I was supposed to. I'm 10 minutes over. I said 30 minutes. Oops. Okay, so you guys have a good night, and I will see you all next time.